Dear brothers, dear sisters, as we've been through this, in pandi this pandemic, each one for, for each other, and at the same time uh, together, all of us, through this pandemic, uh, I invite you to review, reread uh, your, your love, your way to love, how, your understanding of love. As your definition of love, definition of love being enriched by the experience uh, you went through, how is your personal love growing? And uh, what the idea is uh, to be conscious, more conscious of what we've learned about love, but so that it will continue post, uh, post confinement, through the confinement, to continue to grow in love. Love is many things. Love is, for instance, forgiveness, to forgive. There are the, the to forgive others and to welcome the forgiveness of others. Maybe sometimes we've been hurt and we're called to forgive. Sometimes we uh, we've hurt and we uh, and we're called and uh, so we're called to forgive or to receive forgiveness. If I for if I I hurt someone, I'm called to receive his forgiveness. If I've been hurt, I'm called to forgive. So forgiveness is an important part of love. How is forgiveness growing in my life? Uh, there's also also the fact of uh, of freedom because loving is also it's not it's never only to love it's all, also about choosing to love. I want to love. I want to love the, my dear ones and my family, my friends. I want to love, and I choose to love, and I have this capacity in, in each moment, every instant, to choose to love. What what do I choose to do now? Through this pandemic, we've we've been called to choose to love every day. So it's uh, in the, in that sense, choosing to love is not only loving more, but it's uh, beco becoming freer. Because uh, to be free is to have the the freedom to love. Uh, otherwise, uh, there are different aspects of freedom, but the most profound aspects is to have the to have this capacity to choose to love. How did it grow through this pandemic? And what do I want? How do I want that to continue through my life post pandemic? And it's also about sharing, about communicating, about uh, being together, about uh, sharing space, about sharing everything that we are and that we do and that we think. So this sharing, how did it go, and how can it uh, grow? So it, the idea of love, of love, is always uh, today. I love you more than yesterday, but less than tomorrow, because the, the dynamics of love is to grow every day and to grow more and more. So this, this uh, challenge to love has been present in, our, in the pandemic. So how did I learn? What did I learn from that? How can it continue? How can my love continue to grow? So it's about questions. I invite you to reflect on yourself or on your, for on your part, and maybe to share with the members of your family or your friends, the, your dear ones, how together you've been growing in love, because love is sharing, so uh, we can have our own idea of what love is all about, but it's good also to share with our, with our dear ones what it is to love and uh, how do we, what helps us to choose to love. So love is so important in our lives, it's such a part of every person's life, every vocation, whether we are as an individual, a celibate, uh, uh, maybe uh, alone in, in your home or as a couple, as a family. It's always about love and how love is going to present in our lives. So how is this love going to be present more and more? How is it going to grow more and more? And this uh, sometimes when the couples are called to, for instance, to, to share, it's already part of uh, of life but sometimes when it's about work when it's about so many things to do sometimes you need time to communicate you need time to share you need time to get to know each other and you've made the experience of having more time to get to know each other and loving each other more and so how is it going to be present in the future how are you going to continue to take the time to be together to take the time to share to take the time to talk to each other to take time to communicate Take the time just to, I would say, just to breathe together, just to breathe together, just uh, take the time just to listen to, uh, to the other breathing, 
So there's a definition of love that, uh, that I like a lot is that uh, to love is to listen to the breathing of the other one, so that, to the, that of the person that, that we love. So to be close to each other is to listen to each other breathing. So how is it going to grow in your life? Not only right now, but how is it continue to continue to grow? Because you want it to grow. You want it to grow not only today, but you want it to grow tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. How is, it, how is love in your life, how is your vocation to love continue to grow in your life? It's, it's a challenge because there are moments when we're hurt, uh, so we have to work on. There are moments to overcome. There'll be some moments of sadness, there's some moment of uh, incomprehension, some moment of uh, maybe even solitude, even when we are with others. But through those challenges, love is called to grow. The, your deepest vocation is vocation to love, and you're not alone with this vocation. You're, you always have the, the grace of God to help you through this vocation and to guide you and to strengthen you and to give you peace. And, and then you grow in the reciprocity of love comes joy, the joy of loving, the joy of, of being loved, the joy of, of knowing love with the grace of Jesus Christ.